So here's my box forge that I made when I first started. Nothing too fancy. I kept adding on to it as I went. I used to fill it with rocks and sand and all that and bricks to kind of build it up, but I found that that's not really necessary anymore since I have this part that I cast it onto the bottom of the rotor. Unsurprisingly, it popped off the rotor, but it's still intact, so it makes a nice little air box of sorts for sliding the air pipe into and supporting it under the rotor. And it also acts as a base for me to use some clay between the bottom of the rotor and the concrete airbox piece to create an airtight seal. And you'll see that here soon. So I'm just lining up the air pipe. And I'm fitting it in there. I would probably do the air slots a lot different now that I have a lot better understanding of coal forges and have kind of looked at a lot of other designs, but this is what I have and it works. So this is the steel sheet that I got from the junkyard. Cut a hole in it that the rotor will drop into and it just sits on top, creates to the tabletop. There's a gap there because it used to be perpendicular to its positioning here. But I wanted to orient the forge so that the air is on the side instead of right in front of me. Just to get it out of the way. And I had these extra pieces of angle iron that I figured I would just kind of put around the sides to fill the gap and create a lift. Eventually I'll get enough angle iron and other components that I will turn the steel sheet into an all steel coal forge. And I will finally graduate from the box. But for now, like I said, this works just fine. I can still make stuff. Here's the fire pot rotor. It's already sort of a bowl shape from when I originally casted the concrete onto the bottom. So it's definitely a gap, but I'll take care of that with some clay. of strap iron that I thought about adding and I got a piece that was long enough and wide enough that I used it as a front fence for my coal bed. So here's some natural clay I found in my yard that actually came out of the hole that I dug for the railroad tie that I sunk into the ground and made the base of my Chio Anvil. I just jam it in there, pack it in until it feels tight enough and stiff enough that it'll form a good seal. And then I just smooth it out towards the end here. Basically every time I intend to fire up the coal forge, I'll clean it out you know, of all the clinkers and all the little bits of clay or other non-coal or non-coal coke items that are you know, kind of festering down there. I forged a, 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 an ash clean-out rod. Since the air pipe is horizontal, there's really no place for the ashes to go 
except to form a little pile under those slots. So every time I intend to forge something and I go to clean it out, I'll just use my ash clean out rod from the side hole and I'll pull it all out. It seems to work pretty good. It's never clogged up on me either in one entire forging session. This is like a hood stand that I had made back when I was using the hood and chimney flue at first, but now that I know how to control a coal fire uh, a lot better and, and all that stuff, I kind of graduated from using the hood. I'd only use it if it was too sunny, but I have a 10 up for shade right now, so I don't really need it. But I do like it as a windbreak. Catch you next time.